how the pregnancy is going. Almost 15 weeks pregnant. They gave my well, eight clothes, and I really wanted to win. Good morning, guys. So I wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update on how the pregnancy is going. Very low in energy, especially in the mornings for some reason. I don't know, it has gotten better in the evenings. I think a few weeks ago, I would fall asleep at eight, at seven, and I would sleep all throughout the night and then I would wake up at probably like seven. <laughs> and that was a lot of sleep, which I'm very happy that I got it. I really needed that. My body needed that. But right now I'm better in the evenings and I can stay awake until 10, 11 and I'm fine. But in the morning, it's so horrible. <laughs> I'm usually a morning person and I like to do things in the morning rather than in the evening. But my mornings have been so slow because I have zero energy and zero motivation to do anything. So I need coffee every morning. Otherwise, I'm not going to do anything at all, <laughs> which sucks, uh, but it is what it is. I'm back and I am ready for the day. I wanted to start doing yoga for pregnant women and I am very excited about starting that journey. I'm hoping that I will get into it and I will stick to the schedule of working out and doing stuff like that because movement is really important during pregnancy and in life in general. I wanted to give you a little bit of an update on my bump. So I'm almost 15 weeks pregnant and this is the bump. It's definitely bigger after I eat. <laughs> In the morning as soon as I wake up it's usually quite small but then it grows. <laughs> and in the evenings um, even bigger than that. But yeah, it's a cute belly. I'm happy to have it. <laughs> I just got done with yoga it was so relaxing and now we're gonna go on to have a little monday reset i usually like weekends for reset days and stuff like that but um usually on the weekend we go to my my husband's family so it is hard to do something at home when you're not at home um that's why mondays are usually reset days for us so i'm gonna unpack all of our things because we came pretty late yesterday so I did some laundry at their place so i'm gonna fold the laundry and just tidy up the place and also do some vacuuming because our dog is shitting so much and the hair is just everywhere <laughs> and it's not a pretty picture I've actually just finished doing it all and I also ended up doing another load of laundry which I will have to hang that up right now but yeah I think I'm about to do some editing and I will catch up with you guys when it is dinner time. It is dinner time and we actually just got back from a Russian store. I love everything here in Germany in terms of food but the only thing that I really like buying in the Russian store is mayo. Tonight we're making some chicken burgers and this is something that I've been craving for weeks now. Good morning guys, it's Tuesday, sorry for the weird lighting. It's very early right now and it is so dark outside. So basically today I woke up pretty early um, at 6.30 and right now it's an hour later and I'm having my breakfast. Um, I have an appointment at the doctor's and today i am exactly 15 weeks uh, which i'm very excited about but unfortunately the appointment is not going to include any ultrasound or anything like that it's just um a regular appointment um i'm gonna finish my breakfast i'm gonna take a shower and then get ready and head out wish me luck
I got home a couple of hours ago, but the appointment went well, everything is great. Um, but then again, it was just an ordinary one. We didn't have any ultrasound or anything like that. So it's just a checkup. Um, but yeah, I already have the date for the next appointment, which is going to be a big one. And I cannot wait. It's exactly in four weeks. So that's very, very exciting. After that, I went into the city center. I did end up looking at some baby clothes. And it's so exciting and I'm so excited about shopping for baby clothes, but I really want to know the gender first. There were so many cute girl clothes and boy clothes, all of them so adorable. Um, and then I went to a bookstore and actually got a uh, book for the baby and we already read it. It's so cute and adorable. Yeah. But right now I'm about to tidy up the apartment and go and buy a couple of things. I'm gonna cook some dinner and um, we're gonna eat a little bit earlier today uh, because I have a class at a driving school this evening. I actually just started going to a driving school and I think I'll talk about it a little bit later but I wasn't excited at the beginning but now it's getting more interesting. I just came back. I was reserving some packages um, to Amazon and we went to our favorite bakery and we really wanted to buy our favorite bread. It's called Francesco. Um, I think it is sourdough bread and it's so delicious but they didn't have it anymore so we had to buy some baguette and it looks so amazing and it smells amazing and it's so crispy. I love this bakery. It's called Fai. If you're ever here in Germany, I highly recommend that you go to Fai. Tonight we are cooking shakshuka. I believe that's how you pronounce it. I'm not sure though. <laughs> and I'm definitely butchering the recipe. It's um, kind of a simple recipe. I'm not sure if I'm doing it right, but basically if you don't know what it is, it's um, eggs that are cooked in tomato sauce. Um, so yeah, but it's really delicious and it's definitely one of our staple recipes. I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about the school that I'm going to so basically my husband and I really want to move um, and the place where we want to move is actually where my husband grew up and that place is a very very small town so there are not a lot of things that are within walking distance apart from a couple of stores so if I really want to go somewhere I will have to drive um, besides when the baby comes I will have to take the baby to the doctor's office or something like that so that would be very convenient for our family if i could do that because i do not want my husband to have to stay at home all the time from work um, and take us to the doctor's office and stuff like that so yeah that's just a necessity um at the moment and this is exactly why I'm going to the school. I've visited three classes so far and all of them were in German. They're all gonna be in German and I'm not fluent in German by any means, but I understand a lot of German, which is great because this is exactly what I need to do there. So I would say that the first two lessons that we had, I understood to around 60% of whatever they were talking about. Um, I think the main problem was not only the car specific vocabulary that they were using. The main problem is that I have zero knowledge about driving, about different signs on the streets and stuff like that. So that's also um, kind of difficult for me to process. But either way, I was really happy that I understood a lot of things. But yesterday I went to a class <laughs> and it was horrible for me because yesterday there was a different teacher and he was not speaking very clearly, unfortunately. Um, he was saying a lot of things very quietly and then some word would be loud. Yeah, that was not the most ideal situation for me. I could only understand the words that were loud. But the good thing about it is that the school has an app where you can practice all the theoretical questions and all the um, topics that we have at theoretical classes. So 
that's exactly what I'm gonna be doing. Um, but yeah, this is something that all language learners sometimes have to face. Um, there is going to be a person that is not speaking very clearly, there is going to be a person that is speaking too fast, or there is going to be a person that speaks a different dialect. This is by no means anybody's fault, it's just the way things are. Um, but in general, I'm quite excited about driving a car. Today has been pretty chill so far. I've done my morning routine stuff, a little bit of cleaning up, but today what I really want to do is to edit. And I also need to fill out a form for a document because I changed my surname when I married my husband and I need a new passport, which is a very long process. Uh, but I think I will see you in a couple of hours. <laughs> Sorry for the weird angle, but I'm back and I actually have something exciting. I ordered a few things off of Amazon and I wanted to share what I got. Um, so the first thing is this um, iPhone case from Masnovo, I believe that's how you pronounce it, I'm not exactly sure. But I absolutely love the colors and I think it looks like so much fun and it's bright. So I'm very excited about that one. Um, the next thing that I ordered is actually pregnancy related um, and it is a maternity bra or maternity bras. I ordered three of them and they come in three colors, beige, blue and black. I know that I'm not a mom right now, but I'm going to be and I know it's pretty early in my pregnancy to be buying maternity bras, but my boobs really hurt and they're growing. So I need something supportive, something comfortable that I can wear. Um, all the time and this was my thought process while ordering maternity bras uh, but they're really really comfy and I like the quality and the material is really really soft and they are from a brand whole fish and the last two things that I ordered are some oils this is um, organic jojoba oil and I also ordered some almond oil too I've actually been using rosehip oil on my body um, on my belly and stuff like that so that I wouldn't have um, I cannot say this so that I wouldn't have stretch marks because I know a lot of it comes from your genetics but so that my skin would not feel dry because I have very dry skin um, and it's very important that I moisturize it and sometimes a moisturizer is not enough I feel like sometimes I want to go in with some oil and I'm very excited about these two but um, my husband is actually playing football right now and he's also going to stay at his friends to watch some football so i'm gonna have some me time which i think is very important i'm gonna be cooking something that i really really love it's gonna be caesar salad and mashed potatoes and yeah i think i'm gonna end up watching some youtube or something like that my husband and i are actually watching gilmore girls right now and i'm really enjoying that it's my first time watching the show um, and I'm kind of obsessed and I really want to watch it tonight too, but he's not here, so it sucks, yeah. but... <laughs> Good morning, guys. I didn't end up vlogging yesterday that much. Um, well, actually at all. <laughs> um, I was doing some work stuff, um, some editing and um, some uh, paperwork, so it wasn't that interesting that's why i didn't really show um but yeah today is another day where i had to get up pretty early um actually i need to visit a first aid course and i need it for driver's license here in germany it's one of the requirements and i think it is really really great um that you have to do that and i'm really excited about the course as well i want i've always wanted to do one because um, I think it is really important to know what to do when the situation is, you know, out of the ordinary and yeah, just feel better prepared for everything that is coming your way. I've actually managed to find the course that is in English completely, which is perfect because I really want to understand everything um, and know what to do. Um, um, so I think that's amazing. It's a, actually in Erlangen and I can leave their website down below if you're searching for one. But I think that's amazing. I think it is by Badisches Rotkreuz or something like that. Um, so that's really, really great. Uh, but it's going to take up basically the whole day. 
um, it starts at 8.30 and it ends at 4.30. So <laughs> I'm assuming there are going to be breaks in between, but still, that's pretty much the whole day that you have to be there, um, which is fine. And I'm really excited about it too. Um, but yeah, and my husband is going to give me a lift there. Because right now in Germany, there is a strike. And basically, there are some trains that are just not there in the schedule anymore. Um, which sucks, but yeah. It happens, and it's completely fine. Um, but actually, another thing that you have to know about uh, German trains is that they're always late. I mean, I like a lot of things about German trains. I like that they're always, well, most of the time, they're clean and... You know, it's very convenient to go from one city to another and it's quite fast too. But <laughs> most of the time, they're late. They either come late to you or they arrive at your destination later. Um, <laughs> there is no other way. Um, when I went to university here, I went to a um, town nearby. And whenever we wanted to come home to Nimbek, because me and my friends from university all lived and live in Nimbek, we just had to wait extra because the train wouldn't come. Always had a fish battle. Always was late. Um, yeah, but there are a lot of uh, memes actually on the internet about German trains, Deutsche U-Bahn and stuff. I think it is quite funny, but... <laughs> In the moment when you're standing there, you're cold, you just want to get home, it's very annoying too. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just gonna get ready um, and head out. So right now it's the bigger break and I'm going to a bakery nearby. And Saturday we actually just got back from grocery shopping as you can tell in the background and I'm gonna give you a little grocery haul we got some carrots potatoes tomatoes apples cucumber and avocados and other tomatoes cherry tomatoes that are my favorite ones some cashews I want to try to make a recipe next week um this is prosciutto or ham <laughs> whatever you want to call it uh, some hamburgers and also vegan burger patties for tonight Sweet potato, um, some cream, cream cheese, eggs, burger buns, obviously, some cheese for burgers, cheese for other recipes, butter, smoothie, which looks amazing and I love the color of it, um, some oat milk, and I also found cashew milk, which I'm very excited to try out with coffee. Should be really good and it has very good ingredient list too but i also wanted to give you a little update on how it went yesterday with the first aid course i loved it there was a lot of things that we did a lot of things that i learned yesterday and i really like that we were really hands-on with all the things that she was explaining to us and we tried to do cpr as well which is i think it is really important to know what to do in those situations so i'm really glad that i went there um yeah, but after it, I was completely done and exhausted and we just came home, ate some leftovers and I fell asleep basically. And today actually we also went to Apollo, which is a store where you can buy some glasses and some contact lenses and where you can also do some eye tests. Um, I actually did a eye test that you need for uh, Fotoshine or for driver's license. And yeah, that's... Uh, that's just one of the things that I needed and then we also went in and got a picture for my photo shine or for a driver's license um, which is great because that means that I have everything that I need which means I can go to that wonderful special place where I can apply to get permission to um, take a the theoretical test and I have all the documents now and I'm gonna go on Monday and I'm really hoping that everything will work out and that I have everything 
done the right way and yeah so fingers crossed for that but that was it for the video and i hope you guys enjoyed it and i will see you in my next one bye